I'm making a list of things to do with our little pals. I just hope I'm good at it. Well, with all that enthusiasm, I'm sure you will be. Well, I just want to make a difference in the lives of these youngsters. I want to... I want to teach them. I want to mold them. I want to become a positive influence on every aspect of their young lives. It is only one afternoon a week, isn't it? <laughs> oh, good. Here they are. Come in, girls. Hi, I'm Marla, and this is Jackie. We're from the Be A Pal program. Yes, and I'm Blanche. I just knew when I heard your voice on the phone that you'd be pretty. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Rose, this is my little pal, Jackie. <laughs> and your little pal, Marla. Hi, Marla. Hi. Come on, sit down. Now, is there anything special you girls feel like doing today? Would it be asking too much to see a movie? Oh, no. We can go see Oliver and Company or, or Roger Rabbit. Or Tequila Sunrise. I hear Mel Gibson takes his shirt off a lot. You know, Jackie, I think you and I are going to get along just fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, just let me freshen my makeup. Girls, why don't you come with me and I'll show you how I transform myself into a fresh-faced, innocent young thing. <laughs> Could you skip the innocent part, Blanche? The show starts in two hours. <laughs> I haven't found a thing today. I don't look right in American clothes. I have a more European body. <laughs> oh, in Europe, do they all have big butts, too? Hi, Blanche. Hi, Rose. Hi, girls. Where on earth have you girls been? Well, we were helping elderly people get a good grip on the escalator. We just lost all track of time. Oh, sweet. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Can you guys hold our bags? Sure. We want to go toss a few pennies in the fountain. Oh, okay. I'm going to make a wish that we stay pals forever. Oh, sweet. <laughs> we'll see you in the car. OK. Bye. Bye. Aren't they the greatest? Yes. <laughs> Looks like I've been a good influence on them. Excuse me, ladies. I need to inspect your bag. I thought you were both asleep. Why are you just getting in? Because the justice system in America is an imperfect and sluggish piece of antiquated machinery. <laughs> we were in the slammer. <laughs> Our cute little pal stole some merchandise and made us the fall guys. We have to appear in court at noon tomorrow. Girls, I know you're going to go to court and tell the truth. We'd like to, but we could get in some trouble. You see, most of the judges at juvenile court know us. I think we've worn out our cute act. Now, you listen to me, you little monsters. If you think we're going to be your patsies, you have another thing coming. Maybe some cookies and milk could change your mind. <laughs> Here. How about $50 and you tell the truth? What do you say? Are you trying to bribe us, Blanche? Oh, yeah, you catch on quick. Make it 150 each. Oh, you little pirates. All right, you got it. Now get out of here. Thank you, Blanche. I'll beat it. I can't believe you did that. Don't worry, that check was written on our vacation account that we closed last week. <laughs> Here, Blanche, you can add this to the pile. You're not serious. You're not giving this dress to the rummage sale. This is the best-looking outfit you own. You're right. I still look damn good in this thing. <laughs> well, I don't know about damn good. <laughs> that particular design does tend to accentuate your behind while simultaneously diminishing your cleavage. <laughs> Wait just a minute, Blanche. First you tell me this is the prettiest outfit I own, then you tell me I don't look very good in it. Now, which one is the truth? Both. But look on the bright side, honey, how often do you get out of your robe on the weekend? I finished loading the cartons into the car. Oh, thank you, Daisy, darling. You know, it's very sweet of you to give up your Saturday morning to help with this fundraiser. That's what being a sunshine cadet is all about. I know. I so admire your motto, spread it around. <laughs> That sunshine, Blanche. Spread sunshine around. <laughs> what 
whatever. Daisy, Mrs. Nyland put some things out on her bed before she left. Would you please bring them in here? Sure, Mrs. Devereux. Thank you. Hi, Ma, where are you going? Down to the boardwalk. I like to sit and watch the old guys rearrange themselves when they come out of the war. <laughs> where are you going? I'm off to the rummage sale. Would you like a ride? No, I want to do cartwheels for six miles. <laughs> Get your keys, let's roll. <laughs> Here are Mrs. Nyland's things. Oh, darling, put them right here. Thank you. I can't believe she's giving away this teddy bear. I wish I could afford to buy him at the sale. You like him? I think he's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Well, then I'm going to give him to you. He's yours. Oh, thank you, Mrs. <laughs> Devereaux. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Mrs. Nyland. Hi, Daisy. Bye, Daisy. That was Daisy, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> she's been helping out the entire time you've been gone. It's just so inspiring the way those Sunshine Cadets volunteer for community service. You know, back home, we didn't have a community organization for females. Unless you count Miss Maggie's house on the hill. <laughs> those girls would stand on their heads for you. <laughs> of course, I heard that cost you 10 bucks extra. Blanche, have you seen my teddy bear, Fernando? He's missing. I've had him since I was six years old. I have to find him. Oh. I just have to. Calm down now, honey. <laughs> it's just a toy. Fernando is not just a toy. He's a family heirloom. I've had him as long as I can remember. I don't know what I'd do without him. Rose, Rose, now don't panic. Look, we'll find him. All we need is a logical plan. You go check out the attic, and I'll look around outside in case he wandered off. <laughs> Good. I feel better now. At least we have a plan. <laughs> Daisy, honey, be reasonable. Now, why won't you give the bear back? Because he belongs to me. He does not belong to you, sweetheart. <laughs> no, he belongs to Rose. She gave him to me. But, honey, I had no right to do that. You mean you made a mistake? Yes, that's all it was, just a silly mistake. In Sunshine Cadets, we learn you have to pay for your mistakes. <laughs> this one's going to cost you a 10-speed Schwinn. Dorothy, we're shafted. <laughs> Do you think you could have the bike by this weekend? Listen, Daisy, I don't like being intimidated. I do not like being threatened. And frankly, kid, I don't like you. And I am not going to buy you anything. And I am going to tell your folks what you're doing. And then I'm going to call the school for bad girls. And they will come and pick you up and put you in a sack and take you away. <laughs> and you will never eat ice cream or play jump rope again. <laughs> Get real, Grandma. <laughs> Either way, I'll get the bike. My folks will feel terrible because two mean old ladies forced me to return my toy. And because it was ruined in the accident on the way back to their house. Accident? See this water pistol? It's loaded with red ink. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, Rose, don't move, honey. She's got the teddy bear and a water pistol. <laughs> Rose, it won't sound any less ridiculous if you hear it again. You found my teddy. Where was he? You didn't tell her? Tell me what? I think the price just went up. I'll get back to you within 48 hours. <laughs> What's going on? Where did she take Fernando? She took him home, Rose. Rose, see, honey, uh, Fernando doesn't exactly belong to you anymore. <laughs> well, I kind of gave him to Daisy by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Get him back. I want my teddy. But, honey, she's just a child. You can't expect a child to give back a toy. <laughs> now, you do understand, don't you? Just cut the crap and get back the damn bit. <laughs> You. Good morning. Well, kid, what do you want? I changed my mind. I was wrong to ask for all those gifts. Dorothy, you see, I knew she'd come to her senses. I decided cash is better. <laughs> that way I can buy exactly what I want. I'll get my purse. No. Blanche, I'm not going to let you do that. I've been doing a lot of thinking. and If after all the years of love and companionship, Fernando and I are meant to part company, I'll just have to accept that. Time to time, life deals you an unfriendly hand. There's nothing you can do about it. I guess there's a lesson to be learned here. 
Sometimes life just isn't fair, kiddo. <laughs> Honey, and what did you do today? Grandma took me down to the docks to watch the sailors come in. Huh? <laughs> I remember spending that quality wharf time with my grandma. Oh, and guess what? Grandma gave me a new nickname to call her in front of the Navy. Ah, uh, what was that? Sis. <laughs> Sis? Well, she calls her other grandmother Grandma. This just cuts down on the confusion. Run along, darling, run along. <laughs> Oh, girls, I'm just so worried. You've got to help me. I'm so concerned about Melissa. Why? What's wrong? I'm just afraid I had a lot more fun this afternoon than she did. And I promised Janet her little girl would have fun this week. But I swear I have no idea how to keep her entertained. Honey, the important thing is to spend time with her. Why don't you do something that both of you enjoy? Why don't you take her to the movies, to the beach? Why don't you take her to the petting zoo? The petting zoo? Dorothy, even I don't go to that club anymore. <laughs> Girls, I've got big news. I found something Melissa and I can do together. I have entered her in the Little Miss Miami pageant, and we're a cinch to win, aren't we? Hit it, sweetheart. Hi, my name's Melissa, and I'm five years old. Blanche, she's seven. No, that works out to be five in Blanche years. <laughs> Look at this face, girls. How could a child this gorgeous lose? I think it's a great idea. Oh, sure it is. If you like the notion of children competing in a bloodthirsty winner-take-all contest where what's on the outside is considered more important than what's on the inside. Lost the Little Miss St. Olaf pageant, did you? <laughs> 23 years in a row. Blanche, I'm not sure that this is a good idea either. I mean, beauty pageants are archaic and sexist, not to mention degrading. Lost the Little Miss Brooklyn contest, did you? I practiced that trombone for weeks. <laughs> there was Ma sitting in the front row, sucking a lemon. Well, you were just nervous because your mother was in the front row. She was a judge. <laughs> Well, come along, Melissa. We have a lot of work to do if we're going to win. But we can still go to the circus this week, right? Well, we'll see. Honey, the pageant is just a few days away. You can go to that circus any old time. How many years can you enter the Little Miss contest? Grandma, is this the one you said you oh, liked? Oh, yes. Isn't that just beautiful? Girls, look, this is one of her outfits for the pageant. I'm telling you, she's gonna win this thing hands down. Sweetheart, sing your song for everybody. Grandma, I'm tired. We've been rehearsing all day. Well, if we don't rehearse, we don't win. Blanche, aren't you getting a little carried away with this pageant? Well, don't be ridiculous. In fact, I wish Janet were here to see how wonderful her mother and her little girl are getting along. I just know she's gonna let her come back year after year. I'll go get the music. You be sure and get some sleep tonight, sweetheart, so you'll be all rested when we go to the zoo tomorrow. I'm not going to the zoo. Grandma says we have to rehearse tomorrow. In fact, we can't do anything fun because of the stupid pageant. I wish I could just go home. Here we go. But before we sing our little hearts out, how about a hug for the best grandma in the world? Oh. She's on in two minutes. Oh, two minutes. Grandma, I don't think I can sing in front of all those people out there. But of course you can, sweetheart. You're just a little nervous. <laughs> they always get this way before the talent portion. Oh. My Clarice still gets butterflies before she twirls her fire batons. Fire scares me. But I just remind her that Mommy is right off stage with a big bucket of baking soda. And then she feels better. It scares me a lot. Well, anyway. Good luck to you both. Come along, Clarice. Help me. Did you see that? I tell you, some people should not be allowed near children. That poor little girl. What could be worse than having a mother like that? Having a grandmother like that. Now, wait a minute, Rose. I'm just doing this for Melissa. She's been having a wonderful time. Has she? Yeah. 
Melissa, come here. Sweetheart, come here. I want to ask you something. Now, tell me the truth. You want to be here, don't you? You've been having a wonderful time with Grandma, haven't you? Because if you haven't been, darling, well, we'll just leave right now. She's on. Showtime! <laughs> She's not singing. Why? Why isn't she singing? Well, she's just frozen solid. Oh, no. Melissa. Oh, gosh. Melissa. That's your music, Melissa. <laughs> Honey, do you remember the words? Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Come on, sweetheart, sing. Brush off the clouds and cheer up. Go down the stairs. Here's where you move your feet. Move. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy. It's not just she was so good at home. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. Pick out a pleasant outlook. Stick out that noble chin. Stick it out. If you sing, I'll buy you a puppy. Slap on a happy grin. And spread sunshine all around. Oh, let me have that bow. Just. For what it's worth, I, um, I know it was a mistake to make you do the pageant, and, and, and I'm truly very sorry. You know, your grandma feels real bad about everything. <laughs> what do you say we forgive her? <laughs> oh, you know, you... You remind me so much of your mother when she was your age. Oh, she used to get so mad at me. And then as she got older, it seems like we just fought all the time. Till finally one day we just stopped talking altogether. It wasn't until you were born that we tried to make up, but it seems like we still couldn't let go of the past. Oh, Melissa, I don't want to go through that again. I would just die if I thought that was going to happen to us. Melissa, I know you're just a little girl, but this is the point where you're supposed to stop me and say, I love you, don't go. Why? Well, because you're from the South, honey. It's just good manners. Of course I still love you. You're my grandma. I'm just mad at you. Oh, well, I, I can accept that if you're still going to give me another chance because I still want to try to be the best grandma in the whole world. Does this mean I can start calling you grandma again? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> Just not around anybody in uniform. <laughs> <laughs>